Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to go over how to create a time-lapse cinemagraph super fast in Adobe Photoshop CC 2017. So the first step is we're going to want to import our video. I like to use time-lapse videos. So I've got my sunrise time-lapse I'm going to use right here. Just drag that into Adobe Photoshop. First step we're going to do is to loop the video. So looking through here you want to try and keep kind of uniform color. Uh, so for this one most of the sunrise is what we want. So about there. So we'll drag the start of the clip part way in and then we want about three seconds, three to four seconds of the clip so I think right before that spot appears is where we're going to stop it. So about there, we'll drag the rest of the time lapse to that point. And that is our four second clip that we're going to loop. So looping is the first step. So what you do is select your layer, your video layer, duplicate layer, click OK. Now what you're going to do is drag it down to the bottom. So this is going to put it on a separate level. Now what you want to do from this point is drag the start of the clip, which is the first frame of your first clip, drag it back about one second, and then drag the end of the clip to the end of your first clip. So now those should be lined up. And what you want to do next is take your first clip, use this drop down menu, you're going to use a keyframe. So use the opacity keyframe. Click that once at the start of the clip. Drag it to the end. And then drag your opacity with this slider down to zero. So what this is going to do is it's going to fade the first clip into the second clip, which ends up being your first frame again. So one little thing, drag this out to the end. And then press spacebar and see how they loop. So that's good, barely noticeable, so happy with that. Now the next step is using your photo. All right, so what I like to do is use a photo from Lightroom that's from the original sequence from the time-lapse. So this is the photo I've selected. It's got all the adjustments made on it. So you're gonna click Edit, Edit in Adobe Photoshop. That'll open it in our program. Now one thing you have to remember is that the sizes are definitely gonna be different. So your camera raw photos are gonna be a lot larger. Uh, so what you can do here is select your layer and then hit image, image size, and then in, I use pixels, set that to 1920 and then link these layers and it'll give you your HD resolution. Click OK, that resizes the image, duplicate the layer and put the destination as your video file. Now you go back to the video file and you've got this image. So the image is going to be on top. So that's what gives your, your static feeling to your cinemagraph. So drag it to the top and then slide it over uh, your existing loop. Line them up and then we've got just a still image there. So we're going to keep the water frozen in this. So what you're going to do next is create a layer mask. But what we want to do is with this one, we got these mountains. So we want it's a fairly solid line, which makes this easy. Uh, you're going to take your quick selection tool, drag it across, and then zoom in with Control Plus and make sure it's selected everything you want. So I want a bit more of the sky here. Uh, and that's pretty much good. Press Control Zero, zooms out to full screen view. And we're going to make a layer mask out of this button right here. So what that did right there was the opposite of what we wanted. So now if you played it, the water moves, but the sky doesn't. So I'm going to go back, control Z. And now if you hold down alt and hit this layer mask button again, it will mask out the sky. So now when we play it back, it will play only the sky moving and our foreground is still. All right, the last step now is to export our file. Now a lot of people will export these as GIFs, but the GIFs have, uh, they're not very good quality. The, the color range is only 256 colors. 
Uh, so it really restricts you. Photoshop has uh, the ability, if you go to export, render video, select a folder, and what you're going to want to do is have Adobe Media Encoder selected, and the format is H.264. Set it to high quality, and then document size, it should be set to, to HD, which is 1920 by 1080. Um, and these settings will give you a super high quality clip that's got millions of colors in it, and you're not restricted by the, the GIF format. Uh, the file sizes are also pretty reasonable for these shorter clips. You click render. And there is our final cinemagraph. So if you guys like this video, uh, please like and comment. If you want to see more technical uh, cinemagraphs or if you have any ideas you want to see me, see me work on, uh, leave a comment below. And I hope you enjoyed.